Hi, I'm Lauren Chatama, and my company is Intentional Acting, and I'm hired by working actors who are tired of getting passed over, and what they want is to build, book more jobs and build the reputation of being an in-demand actor. So my focus today is always to give you something that's gonna do just that, help you to book more work and build your reputation. And if, you, if there's something I can do more for you, you can check out my website, intentionalacting.com, and you can also book a 45-minute discovery session with me. It's a complete free consultation. We'll chat and find out how I can help you. That's www.discoverintentionalacting.com. Does anybody say www anymore? We all know what that means. Anyway, so today's technique, I'm going to talk about given circumstances, okay? Get, and, and really knowing the facts, that's what given circumstances are. They're the facts of the scene. And so often I see actors make choices and they're like, well, I made a choice. Well, those choices that you make have to be based on A, the given circumstances, the facts of the scene. Otherwise, they're just sort of random choices. And I've seen casting just kind of watch people and go, oh my gosh, what was that? And the person's like, well, I made a choice. I'm like, well, that choice, your choices don't work if they're not based in truth or fact or the story, okay? So this is what my, I have nine questions of intentional acting. And the first question, number one, which is what is the scene about, has four parts. And I've talked about that in a couple of other videos. Like what are the relationships? Where does this take place? Then we have what is the moment before? And what is the conflict in the scene? And I have made videos on each of these, but what's the point of this whole thing of question number one? What is the scene about? Well, first of all, I always have actors look at the given circumstances from an objective point of view, like step back. Because I know this from my own experience as an actor is that when I got a script, all I would do is read and see how many lines I got. And then I look to see if there's something interesting or juicy. And if I maybe only had two lines, I'd be like, wow, I got two lines. And then I got to memorize them and I memorize my lines. And, and then I would do my scene, but I wouldn't get terribly excited because there were only two lines, I thought. But there's so much more usually on that page. And what happens is we're just looking at our part or our role. And the thing to think about is that you're, you're only one part of the whole picture. And so I want to encourage my actors to look at the whole picture. And when you look at the whole picture, that's where a lot of those given circumstances and facts will be. And when you have the whole picture, then you know what your part is in that picture and you can better serve the story. You can better serve the audition and the casting directors and everybody when you know the facts of the scene. And the other thing is it really helps you as an actor to get out of your head and to get into the scene, okay? Because what's going on, what this is, what my experience was is that when I'm acting and I don't know who or what or where I am or all those things, that's what my brain is seeking that information while I'm in the scene with the other person. So I can't really be present to the other person because my brain is going, wait a minute, who, what's the relationship and who are, and, and where, and what happened and what's going on? So that's particularly true with a cold reading, right? You get a cold reading, you read it maybe once or two times and you have to get up and perform. And if I don't know the given circumstances or I haven't looked at the facts on that page, then I, 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 I'm, I'm floating and I'm not present. Okay, so how do we fix that problem? How do you get the given circumstances when you've only got a cold reading and you're reading it, you know, in a minute or two? Well, ask yourself question number one. What is the scene about? What are the relationships? Where does it take place? What happened the moment before? And what's the conflict in the scene? So even as you're reading that script, you can ask yourself those questions. And that's what I do because I often... I'm coaching people and I'm like, here, give me a second. I need to read the script. I read it one or two, one time generally, or maybe I read it out loud with the client. And as I'm doing that, I'm getting ready to coach the person. And how am I doing that? Because I'm asking those questions. What is the scene about? 
What's the relationship? Where does this take place? What happened the moment before? And what's the conflict in the scene? And those four questions answer what the scene is about. And it's interesting because there's actually brain science to support why it's so important that you do this. Because our brains are built to survive, okay? So if you've already, you know, you're doing something else and you're not paying attention to this video, then most likely this information is telling your brain, I don't need that to survive or I already know it, it's not important. But if you're really listening to me right now, it's because your brain is telling you, you need this to survive. This information is gonna make you a better actor, which is gonna make you follow your dreams, which is gonna make you the money. This is how you're going to survive. Because our brain that's how our brains are built, to survive. And if that information doesn't help us survive, we move on to something else. So that, so knowing when I'm standing in a space with somebody and I have to memorize and I have lines to read or say or have memorized and I'm being watched by other people, that's setting up my brain to go, okay, I need to survive this situation. I mean, that being in front of other people and saying words or public speaking is the number one fear. I mean, some people would rather die of fire than, be, than get up and speak in front of other people. So it's gonna put our brain into fight or flight and how do I survive? So answer those questions first. Answer, what's the relationship? Who am I talking to? What's the relationship? Where does this take place? What happened the moment before? And what's the conflict in the scene? And when you've done that, just notice what happens is that you can then relax and be more present to the scene. And so if it's a cold reading, read them and answer them really quick. If it's not even a cold reading, but let's say you're going in for an audition or a role, make sure you in every single scene that you're answering those questions before you get up to perform or connect with the other actor because your brain won't allow you to connect and you'll be stuck in your head. And our goal is to get into being in the scene and living in the scene. And once we've satisfied what that brain needs to survive, which is the given circumstances, then we can live in the scene. So let me know how this helps you. And let me know if you have any questions. Just put it in the comments below and I'll be checking them. And good luck and let me know how I can help you.